join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we're gathered here today to remember and to honor those that paid the ultimate sacrifice in serving and protecting our community. Lord, may we never forget. Father, in your word, you tell us that you're the father of tender mercies and the God of all comfort. And Lord, we ask you to be that to those that have lost loved ones uh, in, in serving our community, not only here, but around our nation today. Father, we ask that you would uh, smile upon our presence, especially upon all those faithful law enforcement officers that, that serve and protect our community today. In Jesus' name, amen. We want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you for coming out and showing support from our city leaders and our citizens. And we want... We want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you for showing us support today and from our city leaders and our citizens, not just today, but every day. Your support means the world to us. We also want to thank our brothers and sisters in blue from the Saline County Sheriff's Office and the Kansas Highway Patrol. The partnerships that we have together allow us to serve our citizens to a high level and we thank that and we don't take that for granted. And we're also here to you know, the officers that made the ultimate sacrifice, we thank them, but also we want to thank their family. We know that you also have made the ultimate sacrifice and you paid a debt that we can never thank you enough for. You know, we, above all, we want to thank God. You know, he has provided for us and he's watched out for us and we thank him for showing favor on our respective agencies. And we just pray that we're able to continue to build agencies that serve and honor him through these, this great profession that he has allowed each and every one of us to, to have the honor of serving our citizens with. Thank you. Law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty from the Salina Police Department, Officer John Stonebreaker, Officer Tom Carson, Officer Olney Eaton, Officer Jerry Ivey, 
from the Sling County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Fred Bell, from the Kansas Highway Patrol, Trooper Maurice Plummer, Trooper Jimmy Jacobs, Trooper John McMurray, Lieutenant Bernard Hill, Sergeant Eldon Miller, Trooper James Thornton, Trooper Conroy O'Brien, Trooper Bud Pribenow, Master Trooper Larry Huff, Master Trooper Dean Goodhart. Good morning. It is indeed an honor to participate in today's ceremony as the mayor of the city of Salina, while yet being very humbling at the same time. Joining together today, we show our appreciation for the heroism of those who have lost their lives in the call of duty. We all must recognize that our public safety, our freedom, and our prosperity are bought at a price. We know that the people of Salina, Saline County, and the state of Kansas are safe because our law enforcement officers are, will are willing to face danger. We can only rest easy because they never rest. And we can only dwell in peace because they stand between us and the danger that lurks in our society. To the family, friends, and fellow officers of those who have lost their lives in the call of duty, you have been called upon to bear a special burden. There is no speech or ceremony that can ease the pain of your loss. We gather here this morning to honor and pay tribute to their courage and to fill your hearts with our community's gratitude. And like most other job careers, the brave men and women who embark upon a life in law enforcement know fully well that one day they may call it upon to lay down their lives in the call of duty. Those we honor made that choice willingly. Indeed, they embraced it. And that is why their ultimate sacrifice means so much. They served and sacrificed for a purpose far greater than themselves. I can think of no truer definition of a hero. For all of you this morning who have answered the call to keep the citizens of Salina, Saline County, and the state of Kansas safe, we say thank you. We have confidence in our law enforcement because we know the kind of men and women we select. We know the nature of the men and women we train for the job. They're the ones who face down threats, who place themselves in danger when stepping into scenes of chaos and violence, thinking only of whom they can help. No one goes into law enforcement work for the money, nor does one 
does anybody put on the uniform expecting a life of ease. You take the job because you respect the law and you know that someone must be do the challenging work of enforcing it. Every day we can think, be thankful for the integrity and the courage of each officer. Today we give thanks for the special courage of the fallen, those who wa whose watch ended with their lives. We cannot fully repay our debt to them or their families. We can only acknowledge that debt, which we today take do with pride and affection. John 15, 13 reads, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for his friends. And I would say to that or their community or fellow citizens, let us remember these words today and always. And in deepest gratitude, let us be secure in the knowledge that these officers rest in peace and in a place of honor. May God bless the men and women who have given their lives in service, and may God bless and keep safe those who currently have made the pledge to serve and protect. As we close in prayer, I'd like to read a verse of scripture from Romans 13, 4. And you often see it on plaques that, that have to do with prayer for law enforcement officers. It says, the authorities are God's servants sent for our good. If you are doing wrong, of course you should be afraid of them, for they have power to punish you. They are God's servants. And so I'd like to, as we close in prayer, pray for all the God's servants that serve our community as law enforcement officers. So Father, as we uh, close this time, we ask that you would bless and protect all the law enforcement officers that protect and serve our community. Lord, we ask that you give them wisdom, you give them courage, you give them grace to do their job that you've called them to. Be with them now and be with all of us as we go. In Jesus' name, amen. Detail, button, hut. Honor Guard, Port Arc. Honor Guard, left face. Detail. Present arms. Honor guard. Ready. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Detail. Order. Art. Detail. 